hi good evening to all today we are going to see about the uh, virtual networks actually if you are installing a VMware virtual box or VMware play or VMware workstation you will be provided with three network types which was default by default created in the system everything is a virtual network so you need to keep that in mind so there will be three networks one is the bridged another one is the host only another one is the NAT that is a network attestation. session so there will be three options sorry there will be three options in which you need to work on with so I'm go now I'm going to explain what is mean by bridged NAT and host only so first of all we can see about what is mean by bridged network so bridged network in the sense you need to have a one physical network which needs to be connected with the bridge network for example if you say <coughs> so <coughs> if you have one physical network and this is your just keep in mind the uh, just think it as a external uh, IP address so you have your host system so here you have a bridge network so this external network was connected with your host system that means the internet so for the bridged network you need another a physical network which may be your internet or another private address so for this you need to have another network that means that network will be connected with this bridged host network so the host system will not have contact with the bridged network and the host system will contact have contact with another external network what what which it has already so these both the things cannot be contacted so this is called as a bridged network so next thing I am going to say is called as a NAT which is called as a network address translation so NAT is the most commonly used network in your VMware or VirtualBox or VMware player because using this NAT network we can directly have a contact with your host system so for example here you have your host system here you have your virtual machine so you have your external network so you can directly contact with your host system using NAT so in this case you can also have contact with the internet the host system also has contact with the internet so the virtual machine also have contact with the internet that is the external network so this is called as the NAT so next we can go for the host only system the host only system in the sense it is a private network which can have contact with only your host system so for example this is your host system 
and this is your virtual machine and this is your external network so for the host only network the virtual machine can have direct contact with the host but not with the external network but the host system can have direct contact with the external network this is called as the host only network so if you have another virtual machine here in, the, in your host system then it can directly contact with the another virtual machine but not with the external network so this is called as a host only network so if you see here itself you can see that bridge is called as the VMs directly connect to the external network but not with the host network so for this bridge network you need to have another physical network card for that so that is in the sense it can share the host IP address with the VMs this in the means the IP address of the host is same as of the virtual machine for example if you have installed a Windows 8 virtual machine and if you have a Windows 8 7 host PC so the IP address of both the machines will be same so for the bridging network the IP address of both the machines will be different so for host only network it can have only the local network for example the private network the series of 172 192 and 10 dot series the host net the host only network cannot contact with the external network so you need to keep in mind that i hope you all can understand so if you have any doubts you can post the comments and i can explain it clearly so thank you for watching the video